See you later. Not a breath of wind. There's a tiny bit. This works. It's steep this way, so I'm lowering it down on the rope. He's a swimming. There goes Selsey Bill. And out that way are the dreaded rocks, the hours. Claimed many a shipwreck over the years, apparently. I've ne'er sailed round them yet. Um, they're not going to claim the barky today. She's bound to pag them that way. Somewhere. Just sailing. Just. There's a tiny little breeze. Tiny little wake. Beautiful. Five past eight. Just got the sail up. Had a go on the new sweeps. They're a bit cumbersome, but uh, yeah, definitely. If I fix them in position, drill some holes for them or something, they should be a better oar. Well, it's saying something when you're becalmed in the English Channel in a mirror, mirror dinghy, but um, I am moving. I am moving. Hmm. It is bliss. I might try trailing this bass line. Oh, oh. Oh, attacked. It's bloody realistic, this thing. Weed around it already. Ooh. Wow, water's really clear here. That's beautiful. Right about the zero contour, but that. Three metres, four metres, I suppose. Height of tide. Lovely. Right. I'm half an hour through my two hour sailing window. I've come about barely half a mile, so I've hoisted this up. Sail tight. Is that zoomed in? No. So I'm going to do some rowing now. Engine's a last resort. <laughs> Give it ten minutes of rain. That lure ain't doing me any favours. I swear it's bad as one side. I've never caught anything dragging a line. Not in the Atlantic. Channel yet, yet. Someday I will buy. 
Hopefully when I enter the harbour entrance, I'll have, well, I'll have a fair tide flooding in there and the wind on the beam or the, the aft quarter. So hopefully once I get up there, I can sail into Pagan Harbour in glory. Give the bird watchers something to look at or complain about probably. I'm determined not to use the engine in there because it is a bird reserve, I think. But I'm below mean high water springs, therefore I have a right to be there, I say. Free as the birds. A free born Englishman, free as the birds. To spread my wing. If there was any wind. That's ten minutes. Let's have a look. See our progress. Oh, okay. I'm only half a mile now. I'm gonna have to put that bloody engine on. Oh well. Blessed engine. The blessed engine. A necessary evil. The time strap mariners. Harbour entrance is opening up now. I've got to go beyond it, fair way. Good half a mile, I think. Got a companion. You know what? I'm going to try and cross the bar. I can see the bottom. The tide data says I've got about two metres of water over there. It's flat calm, so I'll just go for it. Save about ten minutes. Beer o'clock. Shallow because there's some blokes over there, bloody. Oh, no, there's a shoal there. There's a seal! There's a seal! Oh, look at this seal. Yeah, we're in shoal water now. It's shoaling over there. All right, I can row across this so Put the oar up. Put the dagger board up. Yeah. That's what Well done. Oh, this is fun. So clear, it's lovely. It? Oh, tide's ripping, <laughs> ripping me in here. I don't even have to row. There's the entrance. The fisherman. Both sides. Go through. Bloody paddle borders. <laughs> there was me apprehensive about it. This is it, Pagham Harbour. Beautiful. Fishing? Oh, look at that way. Let's 
See, I'm moving with the water, not sailing through it at all. <laughs> no way on, just going with the current. No steerage, I'm going to run aground. Close from deeper water now, and the breeze has picked up. Yes, she's sailing. She's sailing. Oh, oh don't drive. We're drifting and sailing, you see the current over there, into Pagham Harbour. It is the 27th of August, beautiful, beautiful day in sunny England. I just had to make a decision, I'm at a junction, <laughs> that way, or this way. Two gutters, that one looks deeper but it goes a longer way round. I'm buggered now. I haven't got no choice now. It's getting swept in here. Well, hopefully I can drag it across the mud if I have to. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Looks just like the... Um, it's a bit like Sheppy and the marshes around the Medway, but the water's clear. <laughs> Lovely. Cormorant. Sand bar. It's sand, nice bit of sand, not all mud. I could see this split on um, the Google Google Earth satellite image. It's quite a useful tool that really. I just before I went through these before I made that critical decision back there, I did have a quick look at the satellite image and I did sort of confirm I'd be alright this way, I think. Well, <laughs> I'll speak too soon. But you could see this sandbar between how the channel splits. That's fair deep. Ghosting along. You hear the bells? Quiet around here, so quiet. Hey, I did a, I'm doing a little bit of sailing, not a lot. It's still a great adventure. Bound for the crab and lobster. I wonder if it's open. I wonder if I'll have time. Sure, I can have half a pint. going. So I've got to turn right here somewhere. There. Oh, I thought it was that one. I think it's that one. So there's hope. There's hope. Let's get back on the yawn. There's my turning. want to do this with too much wind. <laughs> it's a perfect day for it really. Is she deep enough? <laughs> Don't know. Dagger boards out, rudders up. Yeah, look at this. She's gonna jive. She's gonna jive. I'm gonna get swept past. Uh. 
Come on. Oh, we're on the mud, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Did it. Water's a bit murkier up here. She did it. Still sailing. Brilliant. The Canada's. Glory, glory. Oh, jived again. <laughs> I'm going to hit the mud sooner or later, like now. Shit, I think that's the deeper channel. Oh. Get round, get round. You might come to a hissing stop in a minute. Turn yourself into a punt. Too gunk holing. Still moving. Oh, I'm a ground. Come on. We're through. map again. Yeah, I just looked at the map and bugger it, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> I've got to use the engine now. Should have just followed the satellite image rather than trying to use Navionics. Oh well, I'll start her up again. Now I'm going to be a punter, puntman. These sweeps, these sweeps have another use. Get round there. <laughs> hey, this is quicker than rowing. Thank you. 
Right, back on the correct gutter now to Siddlesham Quay. I've re-hoisted the sail. We're back <coughs> on course on the home run to Siddlesham Quay now. Sailing. And here we go. Back to the barky. Glorious. You can see the, the houses there. That's where the key is. <laughs> there we go. Sailing into Siddlesham Key. Pagham Harbour. See that smile? <laughs> this is so cool. I don't know why I love this. It's just so cool. Such a simple thing. How close can I get? There's the key side. <laughs> There haven't had many old many boats sailing here recently. <laughs> yeah, I had about 25 minutes fighting. I went the wrong way, so I had about 25 minutes fighting the bloody current to go back, punting and rowing and motoring, hitting the mud. There was a quite a lot of current coming up there in the main channel. As you know, there's an old man waiting on the quayside to greet me. Hope he approves. There's the crab and lobster. And there's Siddlesham Key. <laughs> I'm drop the sail now. I'll just film my camera. Good morning. It's a bit shallow, isn't it? Hey, I'm here. I've arrived. Glory. I survived. With a little out outboard on it. Sail and oar, that's what it's all about. There we go, Siddlesham Quay. Not much traffic here. <laughs> Here's the harbour master. How much is it? A shilling? Yeah, shilling. Yeah. Bargain. What do you say to three shillings and we'll forget the name? Bank holiday weekend, lovely. About half an hour late, but plans coming together. Back with the trailer, tides come up a bit. She's not floating now. <laughs> Pipe in the pub. This is high water, just under five meter tide it is. According to Navionics. On a big one, you could get a bigger boat up here. Not much though. 